Hi guys, this is my diesel heater, which I've got heating the garage up. Um, if any of you have got one of these, you'll know that they're a little bit noisy. Um, the roar from the heater and the ticking from the diesel pump. Um, I do some videos in the garage and uh, I can't really have it on while I'm videoing. So what I'm hoping to do is to turn the heater on, warm the garage up um, while I'm preparing for the video. Uh, and then using the heat generated by the exhaust pipe, uh, heat up some sand, which hopefully will keep me warm while I'm videoing and I haven't got the noise coming from the heater. So this exhaust pipe here gets really hot. I'm talking really, really hot. Uh, it's it's got to give out a kilowatt of heat easily. If you look at some of my other videos, uh, you'll see how I've made use of this heat in several other ways. So I've got some of this very fine sand, it's called kiln dried sand um, and what I'm going to do is cover the exhaust pipe in it and hopefully store some of that heat that's wasted. Okay so this is a very crude experiment um, but it's just to see if it works really and then hopefully if it does I can do something a little bit more permanent. Cover that up a little bit more. There you go. Okay, so I'm just taking a temperature reading of the sand and it's 16 degrees uh, before we turn the heater on. So we'll see what difference the heater makes. So I've just turned the heater on. Um, this take about 30 seconds to uh, to get going. The glow plug's got to uh, get nice and hot and then the um, diesel pump's got to pump the, uh, the kerosene around. So the heater now is on setting three, which is half power. Um, I'll let it warm up for a little while, then um, I'll put it on number six, which is full power, uh, and really get some heat into that exhaust, and, to, and, and then to the sand, hopefully. Okay, so just put it on setting six. Uh, let's start cooking some sand. So here's the exhaust pipe coming out of the garage. Got an extension pipe on it. Uh, there's the silencer. So the heat has been on for about five minutes now. Um, where the sand is close to the pipe there, we're obviously looking at a bit more higher temperature, like 20, 2021. Uh, but there's quite a bit of sand there. It's going to take uh, probably a little bit longer than I thought to, uh, to heat the sand up. And just to give you some idea of the heat that's generated by this exhaust, um, that's a two metre extension which I've got on the exhaust there. And even right at the end of it, you, you cannot touch that. It's just too hot. Oh, I've had this on setting six, the highest temperature for about five minutes. So I'll do another uh, temperature check on the sand in just a minute. Um, but please give me some comments, guys. Give me some ideas on how we could uh, take this further. Okay, so the readings are going up. We've got some like 25, 28 degrees uh, readings from the sand. But I can't help thinking there's a, a better way of doing this. Maybe uh, a big coil of, of the exhaust extension pipe around uh, more of the exhaust touching more of the sand uh, but not probably kinking the pipe too much that it reflect, res restricts the flow of the, uh, the gases because obviously that would uh, upset the working of the machine. Yeah, you can't touch that there, that is really hot. Uh, but it is definitely going to store the heat for longer uh, in the sand because as soon as you turn the heater off, within a minute you can touch the exhaust. As hot as it gets, it just cools down straight away. I think we're definitely onto something here with the sand using the heat from the exhaust. 
but I think there's much better ways of doing it. Um, if you go and have a look at my other videos, if you just click on my username, Andy Fireblade, you'll find all my other videos there. Um, and I've got some other ways of using the heat from the exhaust. Uh, one of them, for instance, is passing all the exhaust gases through a normal household radiator, and that really gives some heat out. That was a much better uh, way than this. Yeah, I have had some uh, quite high readings uh, from the sand, up to about 45 degrees. Uh, I'm sure it will hold the heat a lot longer. Uh, but I'm going to go and clear this mess up now. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, please give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.